Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdo. In this video, we will try to see about the building of the attribute directive in the Angular. So what is the use of these attribute directives? Attribute directives will change the appearance or behavior of the DOM elements and Angular components with the attribute directives. So that is the main thing. So that means it will change the appearance and the behavior or the behavior of the DOM elements and Angular components. Now let's try to see how to create a build an attribute directive in our uh, what I can say is official documentation of angular or things so they will be giving you one custom directive that is nothing but highlight directive so let's try to implement that example only so now here I will be creating one directive that is nothing but it's nothing but a class only highlight dot directive dot ts file that's it so now this is our directive file so now here I want to create a directive so we can also use a CLI command that is nothing but ng generate directive highlight we can also use this command also ng generate directive highlight so the CLI will create a highlight that directive.es so I have created it manually and a corresponding file a spec file also is created highlight dot directive dot spec dot ts now this is this is the directive thing so now we need to implement something like export class highlight directive okay and this is our directive now in order to make this class as a directive we need to use the directive decorator the directive decorator configuration property specifies the directive css attribute selector so now here we need to give the directive directive this should be imported from the angular core and here you will be having one is standalone true okay and the another one is nothing but selector selector which is we need to give a selector so here i will be giving it this one as an attribute directive so here i will be giving it like a square bracket app highlight that's it so now what i want to do it is so whenever we add this directive to an to an element so we need to change the color for we need to change the background color for that one so that means we need to import the element ref from the angular core what does this element ref do does element ref grants direct access to the host DOM element through its native element property. So add element ref in the directive constructor to inject a reference. So what is this in dependence injection and all those things we will try to learn in our afterwards after learning about the directives thing. So to this one. So now here what I want to do it is in the constructor we need to inject the element ref. Okay fine. Let's go to the constructor. So we need to inject the private sorry private el of type element ref so this should be imported from the angular code that's it so now here i have added this one so now this dot el dot native element dot style dot background color is equal to yellow so we can apply the yellow color for this one that's it so now we have applied this one so directives do not support the namespaces that is the one you, which you need to understand so now <coughs> applying this directive how we can apply this directive for example let's say that here this is our paragraph tab this is angular 18 course let's say so we will be able to see the output here so right now here we are able to see the output for this one so now for this one if if i apply this uh, highlight directive so that highlight directive we need to import it here mm, highlight directive so we need to import it and in our app component.html here i can directly use app highlight that's it now if you try to see the output for this one so now here automatically the yellow color has been applied to this so this is how we will be this is the basic directive which we will be applying so now how we can handle the user events so we can also detect when a user moves you uh, mouses into in or out of the element and to respond by setting or clearing the highlight color so for this one what we need to do it is so we need to use the host listener okay so that you that we need to import it from the angular code the two event handlers that response when the mouse enters or leaves each with the host listener directive so for this one what i can do it is so here i delete host listener host which should be imported from the angular core and here we need to tell what is the thing so mouse loop so when the mouse is left so that means on mouse loop so this can be anything the method and here i will be writing this dot 
highlight so i will be having some method this is dot highlight of empty and this highlight method i will be having this highlight method which is a private method private highlight of and i will get this color as a string here as the argument color as a string and in this highlight i will be applying this this dot el dot native color yes and here we will be using this one so that's it now when the mouse is entered so this dot host listener host listener sorry host listener of mouse enter mouse enter so we will be using this mouse enter on mouse enter i will be using this one so when the mouse is so you will i will be highlighting this dot highlight of red color or something like this i will use the red color that's it so now when you try to see here the output so nothing is happening and here we need to apply the color instead of like that that's it now when i try to apply here over so red color has been applied when the mouse is entering the red color is getting applied when i am leaving the mouse so if you want to apply the yellow color you can apply the yellow color now when the mouse is leaving so you will be able to see the yellow color so this is how we can subscribe to the events of the dom element that hosts an attribute directive so here in this case what is that one the div tag uh, the, the paragraph tag in this case with the host listener directive so that's one thing which you need to understand so not only this one so what i want to tell you is we can also pass the values to an attribute directive so how we can pass this values to an attribute directive for example let's say that uh, here you want to send it uh, default color or anything so is equal to yellow okay you have sent this color so you you need to send it as like this way because so this is a, this is normally a variable so now for this one we need to capture it so here in our directive i can write an input variable here at the rate input oh sorry at the rate input should be imported yeah app highlight is equal to empty so here i can give it like this now when the mouse is entering so here i can give something like this dot app highlight that's it so now if you try to see here can't bind this one something like that it is saying so app highlight since it is an unknown property app highlight and here we will try to use it something oh sorry and right uh let's try to see here i am trying to give the yellow color see when i am trying to give the yellow color so when i am mouse leaving this one so now here for which one i have written so for the mouse uh, when the mouse is entering oh sorry here i have given some wrong mistake so there is a reason we are able to so here uh, yeah now when i when i hover here we will be able to get so now here when i mouse leave so let's make it as an empty now if you try to see see when i mouse so now the default color we are able to get it so this is how we can also send the parameters to this one so for example if you want to send a default color so you can also send a default color here if i want to get a default color means i can also apply a default color so red and here you can take it as an another one that is nothing but like this default color and this one is an empty and here you can apply this dot default color okay so now when you try to refresh this page so like this we are able to get it so let's try to see it this dot default color yeah now here see now you are able to get it so but you want to apply this default color means so you can use something like ng on init ng on init okay i can use the ng on init and here you can use this dot highlight so if you are having this dot default color means you can apply the this dot default color or empty so you can send it like this now at the starting the default color is applied so when i hover here so like this so this is how you can send the input parameters and you can do it like this so this is how we will be developing our uh, binding to a second property also we have seen it so this is how we will be developing the custom attribute directive and another thing which i want to explain it to you is ng non bindable so this is also one of the attribute directive for example let's say that i am having here so like this so let's say that 1 plus 1 is there so now you will be able to see the output that could be 2 
and now here if I try to use something like ng non bindable so this one if I try to see uh, use it then you will be able to see automatically the output will be displayed it like this so that means whenever you want to apply uh, whenever you want the expression not to be executed it should be rendered means then you can use this ng non bindable then automatically the output will be displayed like this so this is what about the attribute binding creating a custom attribute binding uh, attribute directive in the angular hope you understood about this concept if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you